in most of the regions, in Nyanza, in Western, in the coast, in Lower Eastern, in Upper Eastern, in North Eastern, in a number of counties within the Rift Valley, in Nairobi, and according to the whistleblower, several countries in the central province. With those kind of statistics, how could we lose elections? So we know that we want elections. And that's the reason why we talk with a lot of confidence that we want elections. And people know what transpired. People saw what happened at, at uh, uh, um, Bombas of Kenya on the 15th of August. It has never happened anywhere in the world where the Electoral Commission, where the referees in an election disagree publicly. Out of seven members of the Electoral Commission, four said no to the results which were being announced by the Chairman of the Electoral Commission. Only two said yes jointly with the chair, their Chairman. Under normal circumstances, those results should not have been accepted. They should not even have, nobody should even have announced them. There was a dispute within the Electoral Commission. And that's why we talk with the confidence. Three and four. My little knowledge of arithmetic tells me that four is bigger than three. For the first time, we have seen a new math where three is bigger than four. We will not tire telling the truth. We want to make rigging a very, very expensive enterprise that nobody will ever again think of rigging an election in this country. Without resolving this matter convincingly, there will be no peace in this country. Kenyans will not go back to elections in 2027 and the election will be rigged again. It will never happen again. And we are going to tell them why it will not happen. It will not happen because Kenyans will not accept it. Now we have said that we want to see the truth. We have said that everybody was at fault. When we went to the court, we thought we would get justice in the Supreme Court. We did not get justice. We got, all we got was insults. Insults. My two seamer, two poor. When you see my seamer at the Supreme Court, it's a chunguzwa. It's a chunguzwa. He was Muslim. Soma, and I will quote the ruling that she is convinced beyond reasonable doubt that the IBC deployed virtual private cloud VPC virtual private cloud I don't know whether she was aware of what you're saying at no time during the, the petition did any party submit that IEBC deployed a virtual private cloud? It was never an issue. We never submitted on it. Neither did the defense bring it up. Where, how did it come in the ruling? It shows that the ruling was written somewhere by somebody else. So the, all of this thing was rotten and requires a proper inter interrogation. We have said, therefore, that we have, we agreed, we are not unreasonable people, that we will talk, we will negotiate. But the negotiations must be structured and must be constructive. 
All that our team has seen was nothing but stonewalling and time buying. That's why we agreed with the chairman of our bipartisan team, Utende Amolo, say, stop it, stop the rubbish. And you will not go back until they have come down to say A, B, C, D. The issues which are in contention, 